These effects, even though they're labeled the same, they don't behave the same way. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com, and this is going to be a very short video, but um, the reason I'm making this is that uh, I get this question a lot. It seems to be confusing for many people, so it just in one minute maybe we'll just clarify something very important. So I have this image here, and I simply added one node with auto color. So we just auto corrected the image. Then I need to change the uh, temperature and tint of this image in the second node. So we can change the temperature and tint in multiple places. For example, you can do that in the uh, primaries uh, controllers in Resolve, or you can do it in the new HDR wheels. These effects, even though they're labeled the same, they don't behave the same way. This is a temperature controller. I'll start by dragging it to the left. So I'll control temperature, drag it to the left, and notice that the image just became blue. Then I'll take the same controller, drag it to the right, and the image became really uh, orange. So it's, it's uh, warm now. Let's reset. And I'll switch to the HDR wheels. And again, I'll use the temperature to the bottom left here, move it to the left. And notice that I'm moving it a lot to the left and the image is not changing that much. Let's reset it. And now I'll move it to the right to make the image more orange. And we managed to make the image really uh, orange this time. Uh, again, it's very warm. Speaking of Resolve, if you're a beginner and you're interested in learning how to use Resolve, you love our free crash course that will teach you the basics of every tab in Resolve. Simply go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for free. Notice something extremely important. I'll switch back to the primaries wheels and notice that in the primaries wheels, I can make the image really blue. Let's reset switch to HDR, and then HDR, if I move the controller to the left, it doesn't get as cool as when we changed the same controller in primaries instead of HDR. So the first thing to learn is that even though both controllers are labeled temperature, they work in different ways. First, the one in, in the uh, HDR wheels is way less uh, powerful. The effect is less prominent. So uh, you can move the uh, controller a lot to the left or a lot to the right, and the effect will not be as strong as when you control the same uh, temperature controller using the, uh, the primaries wheels. So the one in primaries is more powerful. Now, let's take a look at another thing. I'll switch now to the HDR wheels and notice that it's much easier to make the image warm rather than making it cool. So in order to make the image cool, you have to go a very long way and it's not very cool. It will just cool the image a bit. So it will make it a bit blue. However, if I move the controller to the right, the image seems to be more responsive. So it's much easier to make an image warmer than cooler. Why is that? This is simply done to protect you from creating the wrong colors because this behavior mimics the human eye. Uh, usually throughout the day, uh, it's much more common for humans to see really warm colors in our environment, for example, at sunset. Uh, and these colors are way more pronounced. So the, the orange at sunset is extremely powerful. Everything becomes orange around you. However, when when cool when cool colors or blue colors exist in real life, they're way less powerful than uh, than warm colors. So this is done first to mimic the behavior of uh, of our, how our eyes work. So by design, it's much easier for you to use the controller to make image warmer than to make them cooler. Personally, I usually whenever I want to use. Uh, temperature or tint in, in real productions, I use them through the HDR wheels because the, uh, the results are way more natural. So I hope this clarifies this misunderstanding. Uh, Unfortunately, both effects are labeled uh, temperature uh, and tint, but the, the, the difference should be, I guess, a bit more clear. So I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, please visit us at filmsimplify.com. Uh, where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve Crash Course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you.